It's your boy James, and today we're diving into the Premier League, but not for wonder goals or epic saves. Today we're exploring the Premier League's undisputed villain, Neil Mopé. Let's unwrap. The French firecracker on his villain arc has become infamous for his on-pitch antics that leave opponents fuming and fans angry. Remember that horror tackle in 2020 that left Arsenal keeper Bernd Leno with an ACL injury? Yep, that was Malpe, celebrating like he won the lottery while Leno's season was done. Now, same game, different victim. Mopé's relentless antics pushed Arsenal's Matteo Guendouzi over the edge, leading to a shoving match and Guendouzi's eventual exile from the team. Fast forward to 2021. Mopé scores a last-minute equaliser against Crystal Palace and decides to celebrate by mimicking Wilfried Zaha's signature move. But Malpé doesn't discriminate. In 2023, he mimicked James Madison's darts celebration after scoring against Tottenham, sparking a heated confrontation and online war of words. This is just a taste of Mopé's mayhem. You would think he's a walking red card waiting to happen, yet he's only had one red card despite having 21 yellow cards. Some might call him a competitor. But for most fans, he's a shithouse. But hey, that's what makes the Premier League so exciting, right? We need a bit of spice, a villain to boo and a hero to cheer. So, Neil Mopé, I salute you for keeping things interesting, even if it means driving everyone crazy. But wait, there's more. I challenged myself to find positive comments online about Mopé, and here's what I found. One user states, worst player ever beyond me how he plays football for a living, talentless little twat, other stated. He's a terrible player and a terrible person on the pitch. Maybe he's a saint off it, who knows? Hard to like that really. This guy says, I like good rattlers but not when their footballing ability is complete shit. A bit like your spelling mate.